Welcome to TDS Online Math. Alright, in this tutorial, we are going to solve for all the solutions to this problem. So, we are given x cubed equals to negative 1 solution. Alright, so we have s cubed equals to negative 1. Now, before we proceed, let's understand the sum and difference of cubes, okay? So, sum of cubes, when you have a cube plus b cube, the same as a plus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, when you have a cube, minus b cube that will be so this side this side is minus so this side will be a minus b a squared plus a b plus b squared so we have these identities okay now let's write this one as s cube plus one equals to zero okay by adding one to both sides of the equation that will give us this now from here we can write this one as s cube plus one cube remember one cube still remains as one so i've done nothing all right so s cube plus one cube equal to zero so this side will be x plus one then we have x squared minus x times one x plus one squared one equal to zero so we have the zero product here that makes this one x plus one equal to zero or x squared minus x plus 1 equal to 0. From here, this one will give us the first answer. Remember, the highest power is 3. Therefore, we are required to you know, come out with three solutions. So from here, I'll write my first solution as x plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x equals to minus 1 x equals negative 1 now let's delve into the other two solutions with this equation x squared minus x plus 1 equal to 0 now from here we are going to compare this one with the general quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 so from here, A is 1, B is minus 1, C is 1. So knowing all these terms, or knowing A, B, and C, we can proceed with a general quadratic formula. So we have the formula as minus B plus or minus B squared minus 4ac on 2a so remember a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is 1 okay so as nicely done here all right so let's proceed with how to calculate for the next solutions so we have b as minus 1 so this side will be minus minus 1 plus or minus so we have b minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 c is 1 then write it well okay on 2 times a which is 1 remember we are solving for x so minus minus plus 1 plus or minus 
this side will be 1 minus 4 on 2. So from here, x will be 1 plus or minus minus 3. Square root of minus 3 on 2. Okay. So knowing this, this side becomes complex. So from complex numbers, so when we're given square root of negative 1, the same as i. Therefore, minus 1 is the same as i squared. Okay, so from here, we can write this as x equals to 1 plus or minus 3 times minus 1, which will make this side 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 over 2. Remember, square root of minus 1 is the same as i. So we write this one as x equals to 1 plus or minus root 3 i on 2. So that will be the other solution. So my x2 will be 1 plus 3i on 2. Then x3 will be 1 minus 3i on 2. So we have them here. So that's the plus or minus. Okay. The plus or minus. All right. So, from here, we can say that, we can say that these solutions, okay, are complex. So, let's stick to x equals negative 1 and verify if it will satisfy the equation. Remember, the question says s cube equals negative 1. We have the real solution as minus one so let's plug in minus one and see if it give us that so that to minus one raised to t so this side is same as minus one times minus one times minus one remember two will be positive one times minus one that will be minus one which is that all right so therefore the correct answer for this mathematical expression or the correct answer for x cube equals negative one is minus one all right so subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos like this all right